Will I be able to make it through an entire part without forgetting to go back to something in a level? Find out soon. Yeah, hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. I'm gonna start off this part by going over to the Monkey Museum because Cranky always has something funny to say. <laughs> uh, let's see his hints here. Not sure if I got that in my part when I did that level. Uh, I definitely showed that. I definitely showed that, but you aren't being funny today, so you're not getting my coinage. <laughs> Next level is Squawks' Shaft, and I think that is grammatically incorrect, because whenever you uh, make like a name has an S at the end, I think you're just supposed to put an apostrophe after it, and not an S after that apostrophe. I could be wrong, though, I don't know. <laughs> Anyway, oh, wait, wait, new enemy right off the bat here. This is Crook. What he does is he throws his hook at you like a boomerang, and that's pretty much all he does. You can jump on him or throw stuff at him like so, and he'll die pretty easily. But since he's got a projectile weapon, that could be kind of an issue in some circumstances, and I'm sure we will see as we go. I, I remember this level being very very cryptic and where it hides stuff. I, oops, I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> so, I better be very, very careful to not miss anything as I go, if that's even possible. Oh, shoot. Great. Uh, hopefully I don't need double Kong assault for stuff here. Oh, jeez. Aha! I remember that. Yeah! And I hope that does not lead to a bonus area. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I'll be able to get a Donkey Kong barrel in the near future? Unless I could like shoot straight down. Oh, well, that, that kind of worked. <laughs> I, was, I was aiming for anything just to see if I could get the stuff that was down there, but I didn't see anything important other than uh, coins there, so I guess that was kind of a pointless diversion for me. Um, which... Oh, I need a monkey to even get to that barrel. I mean, a, another monkey to get to that barrel. Dang it! I'm being restricted by my soloness. Shouldn't have taken that hit. Oh, shoot. Here's the part where things get ugly. This is Squawks. And can I, like, abandon you to go back? And I guess not. Because <laughs> I know I missed some stuff there, because I didn't have my full monkey arsenal. Uh, Squawks can't go through some platforms like that, as you can tell. Um, you press the jump button in order to fly up. You can fly up faster if you hold up on the D-pad. And that's about it, aside from being able to shoot eggs at the Y button as indicated there. You can't destroy the red zingers with traditional methods, as I've shown you before. So... Yeah, that's pretty much it. I just gotta make it through the remainder of this level and then look for the stuff I missed, I suppose, wherever that might be. I don't think there's anything hidden in this section because the camera kind of restricts you to this shaft, like quite literally, literally, because that is the gimmick of the level after all, it's squawks of the shaft. <laughs> and this is the main part of the level. So yeah, I don't... I wonder where I missed the Donkey Kong coin. It probably was in one of those side barrel diversion things. Yeah. Can I cheat this? Yes, I can. <laughs> I knew I wasn't able to go through that platform, and, I, and getting past his cannonballs there would be a little troublesome. Dang it! Urgh. I could see this being rather tricky for uh, new players, because it's it's rather intense having to control a new critter while, d while dealing with the uh, issues along the way. Yeah! I gotta go back. <laughs> Obviously. So, did I? I didn't even, didn't even manage to... Hmm. I thought maybe there was a chance that there wasn't any bonus stuff I missed, but I, anyway, I don't know. <laughs> I'm just gonna not do any cuts here and just carefully go through the level this time with a buddy, because I know I need a buddy. So, yeah. <laughs> I'm just gonna throw off screen, hoping to hit something. I don't know. Yeah! Maybe there's stuff like hidden 
No, I thought like maybe under platforms. Ah! Wait, wait, wait. is there anything? Ooh, there is something there. I didn't look over here before, did I? I thought I was going to end up shooting it early because I I'm used to the timing shooting at the upper right area and uh oh, where's the coin? Where is the coin? <laughs> A lot of chests, little time. Let's do this. There's that kind of coin, but that's not the coin I'm looking for. Oh, shoot. Maybe it's in... Oh, it's in that one. Oh, I wanted to see what was in that chest, but I guess we'll never know. Okay, so that's one bonus area take, taken out. Um, I, thought I should like try shooting different directions in the cannons, like just to look around, if if at all possible. Uh, well, I can do this now, just to be sure that I don't miss anything here. Yeah, there wasn't anything special here, and I dropped down. Okay, I'm just gonna kill you off. I'm gonna leave you, I guess. Hmm. Is there anything down there? I don't know. <laughs> I could bait him to shoot in that direction. That might be handy. If I needed that, but I don't really need that. <laughs> anything up here? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, you can throw monkeys off the ledge and they'll just pop right back to you, so you don't have to worry about having a steady place for them to land. And yes, I shot over there on purpose just to see if I missed anything. <laughs> Even though I have to climb back up here, but it's, it's not really that big of a deal since I'm just, you know, looking around in the level. Hmm. Where could I have possibly missed stuff in this thing? I mean, it seems like the path is rather steady overall. Should I even... Wait, wait a second. This is a thing I missed before, okay. That's another bonus area. Good. Oh, Eight-way cannons. Eight-way cannons are not your friend. I mean, <laughs> it looks like that I'm doing these rather easily, but it's only because I have a lot of experience in this game. A lot of people have trouble with the uh, multi-way cannons like that. And did I just hit the midpoint? I think I just hit the midpoint that I was going to hit anyway. <laughs> Uh, anything down there? No? Maybe? Might be? Anything to the left? I don't know. No, I guess not. Just gotta make it through. And look around carefully. Anything up here? I, I could have swore I remember needing to throw a monkey. Eh. Oh, no, no. Oh, I can't go back now. <laughs> Dang it. Well, maybe I missed something here, like, maybe the camera really isn't as restricting as it, as it seems. But I don't, I don't ever remember being able to move the screen when you get to this point in the level. Um, so I'm gonna start select here and I didn't even find all the bonus levels yet. <laughs> Dang it! What if I jump way down here? I have no clue. I'm just checking the sides here for the heck of it. <laughs> I just thought maybe I missed something, I don't know. Oh, whoa! Squawks' shaft is flexible! Okay, so I... Oh, block the egg. I mean, uh, block the hook. Ah! This might be the remainder of the stuff that I need to find in the level. Let's see... Must destroy them all! Must not miss a zinger. Must not take a hit. Good lord. <laughs> Where's the coin? Oh, there it is. Yeah! Now, I'm gonna assume that... Oh, I would've got the coin on my way back here. Can I, like, go over to that side of the screen? No, I can't. Interesting. I'm locked into this part of the shaft. I was gonna say... Oof. I was gonna start select out of here, but I'm kind of curious how to get out of there. I guess that's how you do it. You actually gotta... Uh, backtrack through the thing. Uh, okay, I'm gonna just start select and see. Yes, I got everything! Alright! The end of World 2 is near. Cleaver's killing. Let's go!
Yeah, the boss's name is Cleaver, obviously. And it's a sword with a fiery flaming hand. Just dodge the balls of fire. And wait for the cannonball. Throw it back. And now go to the other side very quickly, otherwise you are going to be bombarded by fireballs. You can't hit them from that side anyway. Just make sure you don't throw the cannonball into its fireballs, because it'll get uh, uh, knocked out and you won't, you'll have to wait for another one. There we go. Don't be fooled. It's not done. Not done by long shots. Here it comes. Get low and wait. Jump! <laughs> I remember your attack pattern well. And oh, there's coins up there. I could get them if, if I was using Dixie at the moment, but I kinda would prefer to have the faster climber. Oh geez, oh god. <laughs> okay. Please give me cannonball, thank you. Ow, oh, pain! Oh, that that didn't even count. <laughs> Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh! Oh pain! Double pain! KO plus lava burns. <laughs> All right, one more time from the top. Let's do it. Maybe I'll aim for the coins this time, just for the fun of it. The first part's really easy, and I don't expect to take a hit from it. Boop. And if I go all the way over, oh, let's get these hooks. Don't go high enough. That's right. That's only in the second part. Dang it! Why did I do that? <laughs> I even said to you not to do that. And yet, I did it. I jumped the gun, and I paid the price of time. <laughs> Careful. Good. Alright, give me cannonball. Give me cannonball. Uh oh. Oh. I'm always a little worried that I won't make that jump properly. And I'm going to take a hit from that. It's probably like an irrational fear, though. Oh, Dixie is actually much, much better than Diddy for this. Because... How did I do that? <laughs> Dixie is definitely better for the fight on the second part because she holds stuff above her head. And I can just jump into Cleaver to damage it. Dang it, Cleaver! <laughs> I don't remember you giving this... This giving me this much trouble before, but then again, maybe, maybe on my first run it gave me trouble, but not, not after I got the hang of this boss. Must, not complain about Xbox D-pad. So I'm, I'm pretty sure the reason why I felt like that was because I pressed, at like down left as I was jumping off the hook, which makes you jump down from the hook. That's kind of a issue there. But the, because the, the Xbox pad isn't quite as precise as the SNES D-pad is, so you got to be very careful about your uh, lateral movements. Oh, geez, it, it's like it's it's too easy to hit diagonals with it. Yeah, Dixie's definitely way better for this phase. <laughs> Dixie is like instant victory. Uh oh, maybe not. And it gets a little bit faster as you go too. Oh, dang it. <laughs> um. Um. Okay. <laughs> Seriously, I'm gonna have this much issue with a beginner level boss. Maybe not. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> it's just such a ridiculous death. <laughs> World 2 is complete! And with that, I think it's a good time to end off the part here to keep the worlds separated. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next part when I start Krem Quay. Sounds like a tongue twister of sorts.